Hello everybody, it's uh, 2.50, Friday, November 11. This is the final update of my solar tracker. Actually got it finished. Got 90 watts worth of uh, Arbor Freight panels lying here. The tracker just moved about five minutes ago. Kicked all the way over to the west. There's the eye of the sensor of which I ended up laying another new one because I was messing with it on a cloudy day and not supposed to do that so I just went and bought another one. That one works fine, finally. And then underneath here is the little limit switches I made. And I bet with the sun out, I bend this a bit, the motor will probably try to go west a little bit more. Nope, it's happy where it is. But anyway, those are the little switches I made. And uh, I took my Sopray 90 panel and put it up top. Finished up all the wiring. Uh, 26 pounds of dive weights to compensate. And I also put all fuses in to all the panels. I took an AC disconnect box and ran my 12 volt system up in here and took the little pull out deal and put, actually put two 20 amp fuses so I can just pull the fuses out and kill it. This, this little guy here is the 3 amp safety fuse for the eye so it doesn't get baked. And then this is a gas powered uh, nitrogen charged shock absorber attached to a transmission mount from my El Camino. I upgraded my suspension and what that did is it got rid of all the oscillation I was having with wind. It's really bad. And this puts out about 15 pounds positive so I don't get any more rocking with the wind. And I don't see anybody else out there that has thought of doing that. So that's a picture of the final deal. Very happy with it. And uh, I've been running my living room and my office now through the uh, Go Power Inverter for two days straight. I used about two and a half kilowatts. And with everything shut off, I use about, about 98 watts on standby. And uh, I can actually run my refrigerator up to 18 hours before I get down to 11.69. Uh, which is in the uh, first part of the yellow scale on the 12 volt uh, bank. And the, once again, the big panels are Trina 24 volt, 220 watts a piece. So when they go into the Morningstar controllers, it sees them at 12. And they put out 8 amps, which when you convert them to 12 volts, they max out at 15 amps a piece. And the one on the top, and the Harbor Freight ones, those six put out 90 watts. The one at the top puts 90 watts at 12 volts, and those go through another Morningstar uh, pulse width modulation controller. So anyway, that's it. It's finished. I'm very happy. And uh, I think I'm done. So thanks for watching, and I hope maybe somebody can use some of this information with their project. Bye-bye.